fill this right here. I grab two pieces of wire. They're about the length of the table. And all the lengths on the tables are the same. So I grab two pieces of wire. They're about 10 heads tall. I made myself a little head. This is about two inches. That's where you want it to be, about two inches. And this is a little head that I'm gonna use to measure my body. Because we know the legs are four heads tall, the torso is two heads tall, and then the head's just one. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab my two wires, I'm gonna grab my needle nose pliers, and I'm just gonna make that. That little extra piece is for me to attach it to my base. I need little tabs, little handles to attach, so that's it. So I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna go one, two, that's two heads right there. I'm gonna give it a sideways kind of head on purpose for my hips, because if you don't have hips, this things won't be able to stand. And then, so that means I'm right here. I'm gonna mark it with whatever you want. There you go, it's marked. That's how my, long my legs are gonna be. So I'm gonna go right there, and I'm just gonna take this together right there. The tape acts as my little mark. I'm gonna grab a small piece that's about, not even half, a little bit less than half of the table width. And I'm gonna put it right there at the bottom, and I'm just gonna wrap it together. And I'm gonna wrap the tape all the way across to make sure the tape is two heads, exactly two heads, one and two, because that's my torso. The torso's two heads. So that's one, two. So right here. And you'll do a better job. I'm just gonna stop because of the video. So these really long ones, those are your arms. So they're gonna come out like this. The short one, that's your head. We talked about stability. I can't just make a ball paper head and stick it on there or fall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my pliers and then kind of just kind of make whatever, whatever with it. Right here, I'm gonna grab paper and I'm gonna put the paper around it. So I'm gonna have a super stable head that's not gonna fall off. Does that make sense? That's how you make it. That's that. Here, you're gonna open it to give it your hips and you're gonna put them back, right back down, and that's how you get your little body. And that's how you get that. Shoulders, we're gonna bend those down, and I'll show you in class where, but it's about, it's about the same as your hips, your shoulders. But then, you see how this extra's there? That's stuck to my shirt, the extra's fine. We want extra wire in case we mess up. We'll have something to cut off instead of adding wire. Are we good? So that's your little torso. Whenever you have all this, and you add its little head to it, we're gonna start adding mass to the body to give it thick arms, thick legs, but very little. The most important part to make these look really realistic is gonna be a chest cavity and a uh, butt. If we can get the back to look a little, don't, don't go giant, please. But if you can get a little bit there at your hip bone, if you can get a little bit of butt at the hip bone and a little bit here at the chest cavity, when we wrap it all up, it looks ridiculous real. Are we good? That's how we're starting today.